Okay, this is round four, the last round. I started recording, right? Yep, everything's good. Playing against Mr. Drolf, who's playing a similar deck to me. Uh, he's playing a... Don't see any um, Abyssal Birds. He's playing Aegis Batterbot, Bitter Frost Totem, Countermeasure, Calamity Vein. So he's playing like my deck, or... I don't know, it's kind of weird. He's playing like a less side lane centric version of my deck. Like he uses Spirits to Infiltrator, but he pumps it with Torrent Acolyte and Countermeasure and Aegis Wings. So he, my uh, Bitter Frost Totems are going to be really good in this matchup because he's relying on pretty high armor creatures to deal some damage to him. Uh, he's got Countermeasures to shrink my guys or make him big. Yep. Yep, I'm free guard this time. Sorry, I should have said something. Um, let's see here. He's got Nexus Overwatches, Scourge Hydra. Uh, let's see. He has his own Bitter Frost Totems, which doesn't affect me that much. The Torrent Acolytes are really ring in Ring 1. Calamity Fiend is okay. I'm actually not sold on Calamity Fiend. It's good sometimes, other times it's just garbage. It would have been troublesome. Yeah, yeah, that's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> so, we'll figure something out. I'm just going to jam a Barrier Soldier in the side lane. Infernal Visage. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to play in the center lane because trading a Barrier Soldier for a Nexus Overwatch is not great. For sure, it's definitely not great. I'll trade a Vessel Brute for a Nexus Overwatch. That one doesn't matter very much. It really just depends on what he plays over here. So he's probably got an Aegis Wings, so I could Bitter Frost to him as Spirit's Level Trader if I wanted to stop that. But I would rather play my own threats than do anything about his. So I'm just going to ignore that for now and then play a Scourge Hydra and attack my Vessel Brute. That way my Scourge Hydra is an 8 8. If he wants to countermeasure or do whatever he wants to this card, that's fine by me. I can shrink it with Palladium. This is, this is another situation where Dredge Banshee would actually be really good. King of Hearts had some like super good tech this turn. I hope he wins it, honestly. Because uh, actually I'm in like the dead zone where if I win this match it doesn't actually mean anything. So I sh even though I should try my hardest, I actually have a lot. It's really hard for me to. Because it's like uh, the only prize I'm allowed to get right now is the random code. And it, win or lose doesn't really matter anymore since only the winner gets the other code. There's only two codes this time. Since there's only uh, eight plus players, we didn't get the 16. So anyway, what's my opponent going to do? I think my his war, or the worst thing for me is if he Aegis Wings this, it'd be seven power. Uh, it still wouldn't work because it would be less power than my Scourge Hydra. Uh, so maybe what I do is... What is he shrinking? The Scourge Hydra? The Abyssal Brute. Okay, well that's whatever. I only take 4 damage from him. And then I can play the Abyssal Brute here and then Infernal Visage. Is that better than playing the Batterbot? I think so. I definitely want to play the Infernal Visage this turn because it makes my Scourge Hydra 10 10. So it turns off basically all of his Aegis Wings. If he Aegis Wings this Batterbot, it's only going to be a 9 or 8 power creature, uh, which is not enough to deal damage to my. Not enough to surpass the Scourge Hydra in power. So what he needs to do is like. Bitter Frost Totem? He's playing Bitter Frost Totem, yeah. So he'd have to Bitter Frost Totem and then Aegis Wings, which actually would be fine since he has board control right now. Uh, but if he just wants to jam creatures down, I can, you know, slam some. I'm probably going to have to play Bitter Frost Totem this turn. I can block his Nexus Overwatch with my 4 6. It's kind of neat. So he just kills my Vessel Brute. Eh, eh, not the worst. It makes him actually overwrite one of his creatures, so I kind of just killed a creature there. Um, is it better to kill his Infiltrator with my Scourge Hydra, or... Is it better to play Calamity Fiend? Probably Scourge Hydra, because I want to keep his guys off the board, especially this one, which gets kind of dangerous if he pumps it. And I'll just hit the 10-5 Scourge Hydra, because... I'm trying to think of a reason. I guess I can just hit the Spear Steel Sentry. I'd rather have a 10-7 Scourge Hydra and a no Spirit Steel Infiltrator than have like a 10-4, a 4-1, a and a 7-3, which is what I would otherwise have. So I think it's better to this way. Now I draw the Scourge Hydra Infernal Visage combo. I could also play Spirit Steel Infiltrator Infernal Visage, which might actually be better. 
since I have a level 2 brute in my deck. Maybe two level 2 brutes? I don't remember how many I played. Yeah, two level 2 brutes. He has two Calamity Fiends in his deck, which is kind of annoying. It's not something I need to worry a huge amount about, because he still has no Infernal Visages, so as long as I can try to establish some board control and keep his creatures under him, make him keep dealing with my threats, uh, he can't really recover from that, because it's it's just too much. I didn't make it I didn't make it timed. That's my bad. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, this is the only card in his deck that can deal with Scourge Hydra right now. Only single card. Um I still think I go for the Infernal Visage. It's just too strong not to go for. Uh playing the extra Scourge Hydra is okay. But uh getting a empowered spirit stone level trader that he only shrinks by Infernal Visage or by Bitter Frost Totem, I think is a lot stronger. Um, I assume someone messaged me. It might be my opponent. No, no. Someone congratulating me on having a nice little free-to-play website, which is sweet. I appreciate it. Oh, I should tell him that, but... Oh, and he shrinks my spirit self trader, so it's not as big a deal. Uh, I didn't check what he leveled at the first one. I'm too, too far away now. He, so he leveled a spirit self trader there, which is really strange. He should have just played the level 2 one. Because that would have been much stronger. Uh, I can shrink his guy with Calamity Fiend and then play an Infernal Visage. I don't have a, I have a level two Barrier Soldier, so I don't mind taking too much extra damage, as long as I get something out of it. Like I'm pumping an extra creature here. I would like to draw that Barrier Soldier though, or one of the Brutes next turn. I uh, just have level three creatures in my deck. Like, I guess I just like hit all of these things with the uh, Scourge Hydra, or the, hit all these Scourge Hydras I'm probably going to play this turn, so I'd probably just hit the Calamity Fiend like twice, to make it a 6-1. Calamity Fiend is actually not that much of a threat. I just kind of put it there to get value with the uh, Infernal Visage. Plus it was the only, actually the only place I could put it and kill his Batter, by, batter Hot. Batter Bot. Wow. Sorry, sometimes I just can't talk. So he put an 11-7 in play, which gives him Power Torrent. He can Power Torrent his uh, Calamity Fiend, apparently. I'm probably going to go ahead and Palladium Wave this, because that reduces his creature's power by a pretty significant amount. And I don't have any other like level 1 creatures I'd like to play. I think this is just a little better, because it shrinks his power by 12. And then I can play... Is it better to kill his creature or to play something in the side lane? I have two Vessel Roots, so I can probably... If I draw both of them next turn, which is uh, not the likeliest, but it's possible, I can play one and then play in the side lane for block. So I can just play one in the side lane for block and kill it. So yeah, I think it's better to kill one of his creatures now and then put something in the side lane, because I have a lot of Abyssal Roots I get to draw. So yeah, now I can put an Abyssal Root in the mid lane and then maybe Batter Bot to kill his Tornak Light. That way I still, if he kills my Calamity Fiend, I get a little bit more value that way. Well, he killed my Calamity Fiend, so I'm probably going to play the ugh, Abyssal Root in the sideline to kill his Tornak Light, and then play the other Batterbot in that sideline. Uh, my other options are to Bitter Frost Totem, the Batterbot, which might actually be stronger than playing a batter, my own Batterbot. No, it, I, it's not, because this would be, uh, it would live combat. So what we do is play this Batterbot, trade here. I could prevent it with Bitter Frost Totem, but this leaves me with a creature in play. So it's a little better. And with luck, I'll draw that Barrier Soldier at some point. Getting kind of level screwed the last couple times. I only have three or four level, level three creatures in my deck. Level three cards in my deck. He has a level 3 Spirit Infiltrator in his deck. I want to play the Spitter Frost Totem. I should have probably played one last turn, so I get the uh, minus 10, minus 10. But minus 8, minus 8 is still fine. Like He's using his to just kill my guys. Which is kind of weird. I probably would have... Okay, so he's just like wasted his turn. He played two spells to make my board equal, which is not ideal. So now I can play... <laughs> yeah, I can just play Abyssal Brute and then... Uh, Bissell Brute or Barrier Soldier, actually. I think Barrier Soldier is stronger, because it gains me the health. And I can ping it with my Scourge Hydra, and it would still be alive. Uh, if he puts a Nexus Overwatch here, that's, I think, good for me. I'm 
we'll see what he does. He has a lot more level 3 creatures than I do since he has played two overwatches. And I'm kind of, I'm, a, I'm behind in life by 30 points, so I need to make some sort of catch up. It's it's good that he's playing these spells a lot like last turn. He looks like he's getting a little level screwed too since he's playing a, a level 1 batter bot there. Uh, this is minus 6, minus 6. I can save my barrier soldier, or I can just let it die and then kill it with Calamity Fiend. I think that's in general stronger. Calamity Fiend is minus 2, minus 2. I can just do it now because it doesn't matter. And I want to play the Spirit Stealth Trader for the, uh, the level 3 Infernal Visage I have in my deck somewhere. So with luck, I'll be able to draw the Infernal Visage. Nice. And then now with Spirit Stealth Trader, we get Mobility 3, so I can move it 1, 2, 3 spots over here to the Batterbot. Uh, he just like slaughtered my Scourge Hydra. But I think I get to slaughter his Scourge Hydra in return. And possibly even his spirit stealth filtrator. And I'm going to kill his creature instead of uh, kill his creature instead of dealing damage to him because I need to control his board. That's why I'm moving this to kill his batter bot as well. Plus it gives me um, room to scoot to the entire board instead of just most of it. I do the barrier soldier, which is good at this point in the game. So he shrinks what? Yeah. Oh, okay. That actually stops my mobility and then kills my creature. So he, that was a good turn by him. Uh, I'm going to have to play the... Hmm. If I play Palladium Wave, it shrinks his guys by actually quite a fair margin. And then I can play Barrier Soldier here to kill his Batterbot and then n not be able to take any damage from his creatures. It's a little better than Infernal Visage, because this already has three regen. It doesn't need an extra one regen. Even though... I almost killed that creature. Hmm. Gonna need to start playing... Playing with a little bit more heart. So what's the play here? I can bury your soldier this, but it dies to Batterbot. This doesn't buy a Batterbot. And then... Play the barrier soldier in the other lane? I mean, I don't have to. I can just, like, Bitter Frost Totem his Batter Bot, or his uh, Nexus Overwatch. But I think playing the other Barrier Soldier, I don't remember. I haven't been paying enough attention, because <laughs> the, uh... As I said, like, this game doesn't really matter in, in terms of tournament standing, so I'm not paying as enough attention. I don't remember what level his Bitter Frost Totems are at. Uh, so maybe I can just play Barrier Soldier here and, like, try to live with my life total. Alternatively, I could Bitter Frost Totem is 10-1. That also saves me 10 life, but I don't get a creature. I don't have any more Bitter Frost Totems to use. It's probably not as good. Uh, I'll just play the Barrier Soldier. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether I live or die. Oh my goodness, look at this hand. It's full of level 1 creatures. Maybe I'll just take out Calamity even for Dirge Banshee. I hate this card. It rarely does anything. It feels weird to say, because this card's like quite good in draft, but it actually just rarely does anything for me. Um, like, I guess here it kills a... Actually, it actually does... It's actually pretty serviceable in this hand, so... It, maybe it's finally redeemed itself, because now he's, he's actually just dead on board there, but... You know, this makes me feel better. Copy to clipboard... And... Yes, I won. Okay, so now oh, I'm the one receiving the challenge. What's, what are people talking about in the chat over here? Talking about advertising, because Pion was in the chat advertising his drafts. If you want to check that out, you should go to the uh, Soulforge subreddit or Battlebrand website. I have it linked in the resources on the free to play site. But it's uh, he uh, he does actually a pretty good job with the his he's published some draft articles recently. I like them a lot. And what are people playing? They're just jokes. Okay, that's fine. Shoot a challenge. <clears throat> I need to get some food after this tournament. I'm starving. I haven't really eaten anything today, actually, since I woke up so late. 
Come on, Soulforge. Let me load my deck. I want to. I want to beat some faces with these batter irons. I don't know why that came up. I didn't click anything. <laughs> Uh, so this is another like this brute in the center lane kind of deal, and then maybe Spirit Storm Trader in the side lane. I was about to check for Soulbind cards, but clearly doesn't have any because there are no Soulbind cards in this format. <laughs> Torrent Acolyte in the side lane. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I could play Spirit Stealthful Trader, it's probably my best creature. I actually really like Barrier Soldier. <laughs> it's surprising, right? Because I, I have the whole mobility thing with Spirit Stealthful Trader, but that takes a lot of turns. So I actually like Barrier Soldier a little more. It saves me more life <laughs> over the long run. I mean, it's not huge, it's actually quite small. But it is big in its heart, which is what matters. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you different. <laughs> So for some reason he damaged the Scourge Hydra there. I guess it's just because he wanted an even trade. I'm going to play the Abyssal Brute here, play my own Scourge Hydra, damage my Barrier Soldier, I guess. Because this is a 9-9, it just eats his Torrent Acolyte. Uh, his Spirit still thing gets to live, but I actually get some pretty sick plays here. If I can play his Calamity Fiend and kill his guy in Infernal Visage, that's a really good play that makes that, like, what? A 7-9, I think? I don't want to do the math. Pretty sure that's what it does. Okay, so he countermeasured his two toughness creature. He's probably gonna move it to the side here. So I get to play my guy here, shrink his guy, and then I could shrink his guy to kill. Ah, that's, that's probably better than playing Infernal Visage, honestly, because that way I get four four power worth. And I get to keep one of my Vessel Broods, plus kill his uh, Barrier Soldier. And if I get to Infernal Visage this turn, that would be super sweet. Maybe play... Oh no, my Abyssal Brute. I wish this card scaled better for Constructed. I mean, it's really good in Draft, so I don't really want it to scale better. But that was just a chump block. It's kind of awkward. Okay, so what's the play here? I can Aegis Wings... A Calamity Fiend, that doesn't really do a whole lot. I can Bitter Frost Totem this guy, doesn't kill it. I think it's just play Batterbot and uh, Infernal Visage. Gives my Skirt Hydra three more regen, so he has to pretty much play a level two creature to kill it. And I blocked the uh, Calamity Fiend here, probably in error. I should have played it here so he can't play a level two Calamity Fiend. So if he plays a level two Calamity Fiend and shrinks my Skirt Hydra and plays something in front of it, that would be bad. But, again, I'm just not really thinking a whole lot. I definitely should have played the better right here. So he's pumping it, I guess? I don't see a point for this block. Okay, yeah, so he's just pumping it, or debuffing my guy. So... It looks like the play is Abyssal Brute in the side lane, Calamity Fiend shrink his guy. That's minus three, minus three, goes down to a four, six. So he's pretty much never... Ooh, Adobe Reader is available to install. Pretty much never going to be able to pump that guy up to relevance. And I'm so far ahead on the board, I don't actually know how he recovers from this. Especially since I can just... I don't even need to play creatures anymore, I can just keep playing spells. And the spells are really strong on this deck. Uh, like, Bitter Frost Totem, this guy, and then Infernal Visage, my creatures. Gives me a lot of extra damage, puts him at 2. Because the Barrier Soldier would give him 5 health, and killing that I get 5 damage, plus the 4 damage from Calamity Fiend, plus the 4 damage from the Infernal Visage. Sweet! And that is game, boys. That would be the tournament. I don't know if I'll get the random yet. Let me see, not drop from tournament. GG's, sir. I think I'm going to end the videos here, because there's... I'm going to have to wait for probably 30 more minutes uh, before I get to see if I get the random code, and I don't want to like sit here with the video rambling while <laughs> I uh, wait to see if I get the random or not. But you know, I actually did pretty good. I got third place, I think. I I'm pretty sure I got third place. Like, Osiris had done... I already beat Osiris, so if he wins... Yeah, I have, I better, I have better tiebreakers than this guy, because I beat Osiris already. 
So I'm in third place. Uh, whoever wins in these two will get first place, and if the guy who doesn't will get second. And so yeah, third place is not that bad. It doesn't get anything. I kind of wish it did, but I understand why it doesn't, because it's really hard to get a bunch of codes from Stoneboy Entertainment, because this is a community-run site, right? So they can only really afford to give out two, two prizes for this sort of thing. And you want to encourage people to actually play in the tournament. So a random prize is way better than the uh, uh, like first and second place prize. Because then you just you create an environment where you have a lot of really... Comp- like Personally, I would prefer it to be one and two from a just pure tournament standpoint. Because then it doesn't feel so bad when you're knocked out in like the early rounds and you can't get anything. Or if you like make it to the finals and you lose, you like get nothing if you don't get the random which really sucks but there's a lot of this, this is a really popular site a lot of people who are new to Soulforge come here so I really 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 like it that they do a random code because then it doesn't feel like oh you suck there's no point in playing in these tournaments it's like no you play in the tournaments you build the deck best deck you can you get advice from your opponents people talk in the chat all the time and then you see if you can eventually win hopefully you get the random code because that would be sick right random codes are insane value it's 1300 gold, and you don't even have to win a game to place it, uh, which is nice. But if it were just uh, first and second only got prizes, like new players would never play in these tournaments, and it would suck. Because then it would just get stagnated, and you wouldn't have much new blood coming in. Whew, I actually forgot the point of that conversation. But I do want the random. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching, y'all. I'm going to... Hopefully these videos will go up tonight, and that is the 15th of June. So I'm going to try and get them out tonight and then post them all over the place like I was told to by these people who told me to print my work. Please forgive me, guys. So thanks a lot for watching, y'all, and that's it for today. Hopefully, I, if, this, if you're watching this on the free-to-play site, I will have... If you scroll down a little bit, I'm sure, I will tell you whether I've won the random or not probably not going to since I'm one out of ten here, so I've, or one out of nine, I guess, since first place gets one. So I'm at, what, 11% to win this one? I, and, I, and I won the last random I played in. So I don't think I win, but if I did, I'm going to like throw a little party down below. So well, thanks a bunch.